Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run. We are uh, currently doing our next uh, Guerrilla Ops mission and I am still in the process of deciding what we are actually going to do. Um, the East African mission would have been good to counter the dark event, but we really don't need supplies all too much. Um, extra intel and a potential hidden event plus a relatively easy objective with the uh, neutralization of a field commander made the South African mission appealing to me. But I think at the end of the day what kind of gave a bit or, uh, or what broke the uh, camel's back or what kind of uh, decided uh, the last inch of, of that uh, decision making process was uh, the um, ability to recruit another engineer. We were so starved on engineers and just having the ability to do that, I'm even willing to play a protect the device mission. Um, plus vigilance with increased detection ready of all enemies is also not a really fun mission to play. We are playing against psionic storms, so um, high level of psionic enemies I would expect at that point in the game. Um, priests plus a lot of um, a lot of um, sectoids and sectoids are really not a big problem at the moment so i'm actually happy with that the priests are a bit more of an issue and in terms of readiness uh, still four more days until magister is back so roby magister as a combination will not fly instead we got the weapon upgrades uh, for um, the uh, Gauss weapons and I upgraded all of the weapons um, and even put a repeater uh, plus um, an advanced uh, laser sight in the two, uh, respectively in the two weapons. So we will see more crits, uh, more damage and hopefully uh, some more uh, insta kills with this combination. Uh, the rest of the equipment unfortunately still sucks but it is good enough for now. The weapon upgrades uh, should help us to prevail. And uh, since the enemies are still in kind of in the process of um, quote unquote getting stronger, the worst that we have seen so far is a muton. I feel quite confident that we can almost one shot the muton, definitely two shot. So that's not going to be an issue. Um, as for the rest of the team, I mean, we're progressing actually reasonably well. And I'm surprised even though we're only having the missions with two at a time, that we're still having, yeah, okay-ish promotions. Maybe part of it is that we weren't uh, exclusively for the promoting missions um, in the covered ops. But yeah, it this run by far is the best uh, the um, try that I had so far with a two-man uh, approach. And look at us. Beautiful. The continent bonu uh, bonus is so good. I mean, seriously, how good is that bonus for the run? Uh, having kind of a random average Joe here and there uh, when you have six people, not a big deal. If you do have two people, it is quite a big deal. And even though he has nothing other than a magnetic weapon, it's still pretty good. So we know that our... Uh, device over here, not very surprising. I was already mentioning we're going to see a couple of sectoids, um, which means we might want to start heading further towards the target. And look at you, who, who's a good boy who positioned themselves just right next to explosive vehicles. <laughs> good job, man. At Galleon Poe, moves over and will take high ground very soon. These guys are still in range. Yeah. 
Well, look at you. Okay. That's two of them down. Moving to designated coordinates. Let's silently open this door. And let's not get discovered. Good copy. Moving on target. We're still Eyes on the prize. very much hidden. Oh, that's perfect. Good job. Oh. We are no longer hidden. I go where you tell me. A patrol is upwind. Two enemies over there. That's okay. And we know that there are three here and two further enemies over here. Well, that's okay. Because guess what? I'm going to throw a nice little uh, claymore grenade into uh, that uh, mass of enemies. And we're going to kill them. Overwatch. And let's position ourselves. I really don't want to pull any more attention. High ground is not a bad idea. Long watch will trigger the sh uh, shot. Even though we missed, we still dealt some damage. No, 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 no. So no remote start. A delicate placement. But a nice little shrapnel will Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's think that through real quick. Because if we explode all of them, it'll deal damage. And those guys will not die immediately. They will just take a bit of damage. Currently only the leader of the pack, since the pack is not pulled, only the leader of the pack takes shots at uh, the target, which is three damage per round, easy peasy, no problem. Once we pull the pack, it looks a little bit different because everyone here, and since both packs are pulled, everyone here would take shots. We don't want that, at least not at the moment. All right, moving over to here. Gives us a clear line of sight. Nice little 66% shot, come on. Good job, that's one down. Perfect. That's a 50-50. And another insta-kill. Moving in, taking the loot. The expanded magazines are pretty good, specifically the advanced one. Alright, now everyone's in range. It, there is, it's difficult to say no to this proposition.
yeah, um, that's pretty pretty convincing. Should have waited, uh, but that's still good enough. It will deal some damage to uh, some damage to the uh, uh, to the transmitter, but it's well worth it. Lightning Hands immediately kills one of them. We are going to flank over here. Moving. 80%, 80%, 80%, okay. Yeah, we're just going to take the shot here, because uh, the superior stock will kill him, even if we would miss. Reanimate. We're team working and giving him one extra turn. Then we're killing the sec uh, the then we're killing the um, sector here. The extra one turn will move into a re uh, we'll go for uh, we'll go into a reload. Good lord, that was a slaughter fest. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. <laughs> nice. That was really good. Dragonova and her explosives certainly are helping a lot. Like remote start and uh, the Shrapnel mine, that was just fantastic. No promotion this time, but a lot of kills. We got some loot, a lot of corpses, and an engineer plus uh, the vigilance. Well, that's pretty good. No, uh, it is not pretty good. It is excellent. It was really, really, really helpful. Now we have a third engineer. It means we can excavate even faster. So we have uh, figured out a solution for one of our biggest problems. We could still use a fourth engineer. Uh, but our progr uh, program is progressing. That's not good. Avenger power. Might as well take that. It's a permanent upgrade for the Avenger. Really, really good um, supply just to scan for. And yet another this facility. Great. Wow, okay. Sorry, the I take it 
So with it, we could finally get the proving grounds and there is a lot of research available. Um, priest autopsy is okay. Well, I mean, the important ones, the mech breakdown is probably going to be very helpful because that will lead to blue screen rounds. And since we don't have enough alien alloys after upgrading the weapons to get to go for plated armor, which definitely is the next thing that we should go for, might as well go for the advent uh, mech because blue screen rounds make a huge difference in fighting against um, mechanical enemies and there will be more mechanical enemies in the future. These robotic Plus it will give us, I think, no, it won't. Uh, that's the turrets. I was uh, thinking about defense metrics, but no, no, that's the turrets. Every development is of the utmost importance. No room for mistakes. Couple more days until we got the next supply drop. Uh, this is, by the way, our power relay. For now, we're fine. We could uh, upgrade it um, for supplies creating even a bit more power, but it's okay. We're going to give uh, get even more power now, and yeah, we need to scan for additional supplies. Maybe we ignore the supplies for now because we will get a drop in eight days, and then the supplies will just add up, and it won't take longer to scan for them. It means we're having a bit of an efficiency in gaining three additional um, days there. Soldier wounded, but promoted. That's good. We have our first major. Love it. 20% more experience. That's great. So... That's plus one. It's a short mission, health plus one, and so soldiers will form a bond. I'm considering if we want to maybe do that uh, with um, Roby and and our Templar. Maybe that's a good idea. Plus one resistance is also not bad, and the mobility is also pretty pretty good. Scientists will take too long. This year is also not bad, but 20 days are far too long. I think we're going for... For this year, 25 supplies to negate uh, wounds. We certainly don't want to have a chance for soldiers being wounded. So what we're going to do instead, since we're short on supplies, is we're just quickly flying to the black market, sell something so we are at 25 supplies. And there we go. Couple of priest corpses. And now we can go for the mission. Commander, we should make use of the ring facility and deploy our idle soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. So in terms of extra hit points, I would uh, say, contrary to common belief, we might want to give Roby the extra hit points because the Templar has um, his parry and it's uh, more worthwhile stacking dodge on the Templar so he is only partially hit. Uh, Roby can heal up and he needs actually health in order to do that. His counterpart is going to be Magister. No one is getting hurt. 10 days confirmed. Begin action. 10 days, however, will be a bit too long uh, since uh, the drop is happening in uh, 6 days. So we're going to Im increase it by actually decreasing the time here. And now the teamwork training is just happening right after the 
the uh, supply drop. One thing that we also, the second, one last thing, which we almost have forgotten about is Zirkim here. Not sure why he's still having this crappy cannon. Might as well take a good one. Yeah, we're looking at Salvo. Gosh, he's a good soldier. He's a very, very good soldier now. Death from above. Well, the abilities aren't super great. I mean, Serial is definitely really, really good. No question. But Death from above is almost almost like Serial. Um, all the targeting isn't bad. And believe it or not, Blast Petting is also not bad. Because it just adds some armor. Uh, volatile Mix is also good. I mean, plus two damage on the grenades. Uh, that's really one of his selling points. So, I think for now we're going for Volatile Mix. But I am really toying with the idea of Blast Padding. It's great as well. Just double checking the respec real quick. Um, oh, wait a second. I mean, Untouchable. But how much does Untouchable cost? Is it a 25 point skill? I mean, Rapid Fire is great, but it costs a lot of points. Implacable, also really, really good. So instead of covering fire, run and gun is good, untouchable is good, implacable is good, and rapid fire is good. And these would be the ones that I would take if I had a free choice. Lightning reflex is arguably also good, but since he's tag teaming with uh, someone who has lightning reflexes, uh, means he doesn't need it all too much. I like the untouchable one because Untouchable is really, really strong. Uh, run and Gun certainly is good as well. I like the idea of him having it. But I think we're going for Untouchable. And that's only 11 points. Great. There we go. I personally absolutely freaking love it. It's a very, very, very strong skill. The AI does know how to deal with it, and you can get some some serious uh, place with it by just standing there and effectively being immune against one enemy um, attack. It's almost like parry, and you you see how strong parry is um, by looking at the Templar, right? And there's an extra retaliation site. God damn it. Operation Steelhound. Yet another retaliation site. Why, game? Why are you so cruel to me? Just put uh, the. <sighs> Roby and uh, the Templar, the ones that could deal with retaliations quite well, on a bonding mission. Yeah. Anyways, we are going to do that in the next uh, video. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing and uh, liking the video. If you enjoy the content, uh, you might want to even write a comment. Thanks so much for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.